Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ronnie from Meet Apple News. And on this video, I'm going to be reviewing Organidoc HD. So, let's get to it. <sighs> so, basically, Organic Doc HD is probably one of the best places where you can read, view so many types of formats and so many types of documents on the go on your iPad. Now, as all of us know, the iPad, it does have its limitations. It's a great tablet, it's portable, but I mean, it does have its limitations. You can't read Word files. Um, sometimes it's not the best photo mirror. Sometimes it doesn't support all video formats. There's all these, sometimes there's no PowerPoint. You know, all these little things that you want to fix for. And Organidoc plays perfectly. That's where it comes in. Now, when you open the, this app, you have a very nice and beautiful display. So, there's, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to be explaining each thing individually. So, basically, first as you open up, you have my iPad. And this is basically everything stored on your iPad. So, as you can see, so far, I have nothing. All I have is a quick start guide, which just comes with this and you download this app. Now, as you can see, you can do uh, documents, photos, and media. And I'm later going to be showing you how you can add each of them to, you know, to the app. Now, also, notice that when you go here... Um, to any other section on the side here, these are folders and they pop up. So my photo will pop up, and this is where you're going to store all your photos, and you can make new folders and so on. Now I want to focus on this part right here. You see this for my iPad. Now the great part is this has cloud storage. This has so much cloud storage, so many types of things. So if you want to add a new one, all you got to do is just tap Edit, Add. And then it'll choose you which one you want. As you can see, there's so many servers that you can choose from. So many accounts: Google Doc, Dropbox, Mobile Me, I just Public I just so much and so on. Now, as you can see, I've added Dropbox. I currently have Dropbox. And when I tap on Dropbox, it'll take me to my Dropbox. Now, this I want to explain. This is the Enter Password screen. So once you enter your Dropbox username and password, um, you can set this master password. And basically, what this means is on all your cloud storage accounts and your protected files, you'll have to enter a password you create for yourself. So for this video's purpose, I just put it on to show you that this feature is available. So if you want to block this from anyone, you can. And for now, my password is 1. So I'm going to go and hit Done. And then I'll go and load up everything I have in my Dropbox. Now, let's get into the actual program, the beauty of the program itself. So, it looks very nice. Dropbox shows all my files out of my Dropbox folders. I can go back, navigate. Now, let's go and open up a PowerPoint. Everyone knows PPTX is this PowerPoint. So, it's going to go and load it up. As you can see, it loads it up, and there's a PowerPoint. Now, I can just take this out and just scroll and look at the PowerPoint. Now, this PowerPoint is on class and inheritance for school that I had to do for a course. But as you can see, Instead of now I can take my iPad to school and when we have PowerPoints and documents, I can actually look at what's going on, whereas before I couldn't do so. You just review and then you can go and you can zoom in on everything. You can zoom out, do whatever you want. You can see how nice scrolling is as well. Now, let's go right here. At the bottom right here, you have seven, several different options. So starting from most left, you have three options once you tap this share button. You can export this to iTunes, download it to your iPad, which means that it'll go into the My Doc section of the iPad, and you can also open in, and it'll show you all the apps that you can open, since it's just Keynote, Notability, and Cloud On. Those are the apps I currently have. Now, let's go to this, email. If you want to email this PPTX to whatever, you can go and email it, and that's pretty straightforward and a very nice feature. Info, as soon as you tap Info, it'll show you the name, the kind, the size, and the date of which you accessed it, and it was created of the PowerPoint and Word or whatever. Now, this is printer. This is what a lot of people don't have. Now, I don't have any AirPlay compatible printers, but if you do, you can go and select the printers. You can see it's available in iOS 4.3. You can print copies and do whatever you want, and it's a very, very nice feature. Now, and then you do have a remove button. So, if I wanted to go and remove this off of the Dropbox, I can hit this, and it'll go and remove it. And then it'll go, and if I load this up, Type in my password again. There, no, no classes. Now, let me show you another type of file. Let me go and show you um, getting started. So, if you haven't downloaded this file, it'll go and download it, and then it'll load it up. This is a PDF. You see, I can view so many formats. You see how nice it looks. Now, if I were to go and rotate my iPad, it would go full screen. But again, you can go and do anything you want, do a lot of stuff. And this is kind of the Dropbox um, how to use it manual guide. So, as you can see, that's pretty much it. Now, let's go and talk about protected files. So basically, when you're viewing your files, you can protect them, meaning that they'll go into a section and only you who know the password can access them, so not everyone. So, so far, I only have, in photos, I only have this picture. Now, this was a picture of an essay analysis that I had to do, and as you can see, I go ahead and I can look at it, and I can do whatever I want, and it's protected so only I or the people who know the password can see it. Now, let's, now that we've got everything pretty much covered, let's go and talk about the meat, the meat of the thing, and that's this thing. Basically, here you're going to add your documents. So these are documents from your iPad. So currently, I have none. But let's go into photos. 
As you can see, there are no photos, but if you want to go and hit this button, it'll, well, for me, I have the iPad 1, so it only says existing photo, but if you have the iPad 2, it'll ask you if you want to do, if you want to take a picture as well. So existing photo, you want to go hit that, it'll load it up, your albums, and as you can see, here's my saved albums. So, I don't know, oops. So, I'm going to go and pick just a bunch of pictures, and then I'm going to go and hit select done. Now it's going to go and load up these pictures, and as you can see, it's loading up the pictures one by one, and it looks very, very nice. Now, let's just let for this to finish. Okay, so it looks it's almost about done. Now, well, let me go and show you one more feature here. You can select which one you want. Do you want it to be a list or cover? And this is a nice feature as well. So anyway, photos. As you can see, it's done some. So if I want to go into one, there. I can go and I can scroll, I can make it bigger, and I can do whatever I want. It's a very, very nice feature. Now, on each photo, I have options. So again, I can share it, I can upload it to cloud storage, which is great, so if I wanted to upload it to Dropbox, all i got to do is tap it, and it'll upload this picture to Dropbox, and it looks very, very beautiful. Now you can also remove this photo, and let me talk, this is protected, so if you go and click protect this file, it will go remove this file from this category and add it to the protect this files category, so only you who know the password can go and view these pictures. So as you can see, if we go to photos, it already added this photo right here. Same for documents and same for movies. So again, same for importing documents. Documents, these are stored locally on your iPad or through cloud storage. You can import them or through iTunes file sharing. So if you go into iTunes in this app, you can also import it from there. And video, same thing, same process. Now, let me go and show you if you hit edit. If you hit edit, you get a lot, a lot of options. So you obviously can select more than one photo or document or whatever. And you can share it. You can move them. You can protect them, which I just showed you. You can print them, delete them, and copy them. Now, that is all pretty straightforward. Now, this is a great feature. There's this cloud button. So if you have iCloud, you can go and tap this button, and it will go and put these things on the iCloud. As you can see, this has a little gray icon right here, and it's loaded. Now this picture is now in my iCloud, and it has this little iCloud icon. Very, very nice. Now I can also delete this from iCloud if I go and select the remove from iCloud, and it will go ahead and remove it. So very, very nice. This has many, many features. Now the last feature I want to talk about is right here. You can go and you can connect. If you go in your internet browser, you can go and connect with Organidoc to this server by typing this link and it'll just show you everything that you have on your iPad so you can not only go and view it on your iPad but also on your computer. Now on the last note this app is a very very great feature and it's perfect because not only can you do everything I told you but it also has AirPlay and TV out support so if you want to go and show a PowerPoint or PDF or Word that's not support on the iPad no problem with this app you can go and do everything. Honestly I recommend this app for any business people anyone in general who student like myself who do documents and everything very very great app now personally i would give this <laughs> above a five star this is such an amazing app and like this is a really really great app i personally like so anyway guys that's been all for this video this app is available for five dollars from the app store you should definitely get it and they also do have an iphone version as well so that's all hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely check out apple news and